Hello and welcome to this video on getting kick started with Camtasia Studio. In this video, I will show you how you can easily create corporate training videos using Camtasia. Let's check it out. Make sure that you have the latest version of Camtasia Studio installed on your computer. I have version 8.0.2 installed on mine. Before we begin the video, I would like to share a small story with you. When I delivered my first video training in the company, a feedback was Will it be possible to add a sexy lady's voice to the training? Though not a feedback I was expecting, I did find a way to address the need. A free online service available at text-to-speech.imtranslator.net On the web page, select English Female in the language dropdown. Type the text you want spoken out loud into the text box and click the Say It button. The text you have typed in the box will be spoken out to you in a fairly human-like voice and natural accent. Though I will demonstrate in detail how the speech can be effectively captured in Camtasia, for now I will let the lady do the talking for the rest of this video. Let's go back to Camtasia. Overview In the home screen, click File New Project Then, to record a clip from your screen, Use the record the screen button. Click the small drop down next to the button to view more options. Click record the screen. The Camtasia Studio window will be minimized and you will see a highlighted section on the screen marked by a green dotted line and a small window of Camtasia recorder. You have an option to record the whole screen or record a part of the screen indicated by the highlighted area with a green border using the custom option. Click the drop down next to the custom button to select standard frame sizes. Widescreen 1280 into 720 is a good option to use. Additionally, if you would like to record audio at the same time, like at the beginning of this video, you have an option to record microphone, or both microphone and system audio. For now, we will not record audio, and later we will look at how to record system audio separately to include automated speech, like what you are hearing now. To get a good focus on the window you are recording, resize it to match the green border. Alternatively, you can resize the green border by dragging the edges, or reposition it, using the holder in the center. Remember that resizing using the green borders will affect the recording frame size. Click the record button and the screen area within the green dotted line will start getting recorded after a countdown. Then, record the sequence of actions you need to conduct the training on. For this training, we will use the demo version of an IT service management tool called ServiceNow. Once you have finished recording, you can either hit F10 or select the Camtasia recorder window from the task bar and click the stop button. Remember that in this case, you may need to edit out the last bit from the screen clipping. You can now preview the screen clipping you just recorded and then decide to save it or delete it. If you are satisfied with your recording, click the save and edit button. Then select the path to save the video. It is useful to store all recordings related to a single video in the same folder and name them sequentially so that it is easier to sort and edit them later. We will now save the clip we just recorded into the folder where we are managing all recordings for this Camtasia training video. The clip then appears on the timeline, at the bottom of the Camtasia window. A dialog box appears, where you must enter the editing dimensions, which is the dimension in which you will be sharing the final produce video. We will shortly see how we can add audio, to the clip we just recorded. If you would like to view a tutorial, on how to record, a full screen recording with audio, navigate to the link on screen to reach the official Camtasia tutorial site. Then click the link, record your screen, 
in the Getting Started category. Exploring the Editor Navigate to the link on screen to reach the official Camtasia tutorial site. Then select the title, Explore the Editor, in the Getting Started series. Importing Media In this section, we will look at how to import a clip into your project and use it in your timeline. Click File Import Media and open the file you would like to import. The clip will appear in the clip bin. You can then drag it into your timeline. You can reposition the clip by dragging it to the required position. Recording audio. First play the clip, for which you are recording the audio, to understand the steps involved. The spacebar is a useful shortcut key to start and stop the playback on the timeline. Then, create a script for the audio. It is a good practice to maintain the script in a separate Word document. Once you have written the script, copy a paragraph of less than 1000 characters and navigate to the website text-to-speech.imtranslator .net in a web browser. Select the appropriate entry in the language drop-down. For English, you have two options, male voice and female voice. For now, we will use the male voice, as this video is currently using the female voice. Then paste the copied text in the text box. To create pauses in the speech, insert commas at the appropriate places. For a longer pause, Use a full stop or period and start a new sentence. Remember that these commas and periods are for adjusting the pauses in between speech and do not have to be grammatically correct in written English. Then navigate back to Camtasia and click the Voice Narration tab. In the Audio Setup Wizard, ensure that you have selected System Audio. Then click the Start Recording button, and immediately click the Say It button in the IM Translator website. It is convenient to do this activity on two screens in extended desktop mode, with Camtasia running on the large screen. The text that is spoken out loud will be recorded. Click the Create New Link in the left panel. Click the icon next to the caller field and select the caller name. Then, select the category and subcategory. Next, select values for impact and urgency. The priority will automatically be calculated. Then, click the submit button. Once the speech is completed, click the stop recording button and save the audio file in the project folder. The audio file will appear on the timeline. Reposition the audio as required. Sometimes, it is necessary to cut out pieces of the audio and position them to match the actions in the video. You may have to play back the video multiple times to correctly adjust the audio position. Click the Create New Link in the left panel. 
Click the icon next to the caller field, and select the caller. Click the icon next to the caller field, and select the caller name. Then select the category and sub. In the left panel. Click the icon next to the caller field, and select the caller name. It is a good practice to periodically save your project to avoid losing your work in the event of a crash. Using Transitions Transitions are an interesting way to move between screens to change context. Click the Transitions tab and select a transition you like from the list. Double click a transition to see a preview. Drag the transition to the junction between two video clips and test it by playing over the transition. Let's go back to Gemtis. More in advanced tutorials. Navigate to the link on screen to reach the official Camtasia tutorial site. Here you will find several more video tutorials, including ones on advanced topics.